Well, I do think that uh, Netflix's key metric is subscribers. And, you know, I think that they had a hiccup last night. Um, this is a company that tries to tell you what they're going to do in the next quarter. And they try and play it straight down the middle of the road. And they beat it uh, for the past few quarters. And then last night they missed. Um, you know, that's kind of the headline. And you can't run away from that. But, you know, our checks were suggesting into the report that the consumer interest in new Netflix originals was about the same in the second quarter of this year as it was with the second quarter of last year. And that's different than several quarters leading up to this where they had geometric growth in search interest in their originals. And so what I think we've got to watch out for is maybe the kind of high wire act that these guys have been doing of creating ever more impactful content quarter after quarter after quarter, um, you know, that maybe that's something that can't continue forever. Maybe they're running into what every other content creator runs into, which is your occasional dry spell. Um, and if that's the case, I think the stock is mispriced and it needs to be reset. So if it needs to be reset, what's a fair value for the stock? Well, we're arguing that, you know, $313 is what we come up with. Um, you know, you stick your finger in the wind and you think about what the cash flows are going to be and you try and discount that. Um, you know, it swings hugely with the subscriber growth because there's so much leverage in this model. Um, so, you know, I think that the, the most important thing is where are the subs kind of level out when you hit maturity. Um, and I think what we saw last night was a hint, maybe, maybe, that we're seeing maturity somewhere on the horizon. In terms, though, of whether this is a <coughs> one quarter situation, which is what yeah. it seemed to be, which is, what, which is what Reed seemed to try to indicate on the call, or there's something right. larger afoot, how do, you, how do you think about it? Well, I think that, that the key is, can they get their mojo back in gear uh, in the uh, quarter that we're in right now, the third quarter, and create content that people care about a lot more uh, than they did last year? You know, last year in the second quarter, they had, they had this um, show 13 Reasons Why, uh, which was hugely impactful, tons of buzz. Nothing in this quarter came close to matching that. Um, you know, can they come up with something that really resonates out of this, uh, you know, 8 billion expense, 12 billion cash content spend? Is there something that's really kind of click and fire the imagination like you did last year? Um, you know, if they can't continue to do that with this money that they're spending more and more, um, you know, then I think you have to wonder, is this company starting to hit some kind of maturity wall? Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.